exercises 29 and 30 use the definition of string and string length from page 13 in section 1.4. Recursive definitions for these terms are given in section 5.9. A set L consists of strings obtained by juxtaposing one or more of ABB, BAB, and BBA. Use mathematical induction to prove that for every integer n greater than or equal to 1, if a string S in L has length 3n, then S contains an even number of B. So before we get into the mathematical induction, let's talk about what the set L looks like. L is a set of strings. Now L consists of strings obtained by juxtaposing one or more of ABB, BAB, and BBA. So because we need at least one of these strings, then that means the empty string is not in the set L. So these are the three smallest strings we can get in our set L. And the other strings are obtained by juxtaposing these three strings together. So for example, we can take BBA and juxtapose that with ABB, and then we can juxtapose it again with ABB, and then we can juxtapose that with BAB. And we can create all sorts of strings by concatenating these three objects together. Now let's get to the mathematical induction part. The first thing we need to identify is P of N. Our P of N in this case is actually going to be an if then state. So we'll have to be a little bit careful with our logic here when proving P of N is true. So for our base case, P of 1 is the statement, if a string S in L has length 3 times 1, then S contains an even number of B. Now, why would that be true? Well, there are only three strings in L that have length 3, specifically ABB, BAB, and BBA. Now, since there are only three strings in L with length 3, then to prove our conclusion here that S contains an even number of Bs, we just have to count the number of Bs in each of these strings to verify that they're even. Since there are two Bs in all three of these strings, and since two is even, then that means S contains an even number of Bs whenever the length is three. So that means P of one is true. For our inductive step, we're gonna let K be an arbitrary fixed integer with K greater than or equal to one, and assume P of K is true. So since we're assuming that P of K is true, let's identify what P of K is. This is the thing that we're assuming. If a string S in L has length 3K, then S contains an even number of Bs. We get to assume that that's true. We want to show that P of K plus 1 is true. P of K plus 1 is an if-then statement. So we have to prove an if-then statement is true. So this is what we want to show. If a string S in L has length 3 times k plus 1, then S contains an even number of Bs. If we want to show that this implication is true, then that means we have to assume the premise and somehow logically conclude this conclusion here through a series of intermediate logical implications. So we're going to assume a string S in L has length 3 times k plus 1. Our goal is to show that this string S contains an even number of Bs. Now it's important to mention that because K is greater than or equal to one, then three times K plus one is gonna be at least six. And so that means my string S is going to have at least six characters. I drew those six characters explicitly, but there might be more in these dot, dot, dots here, but not necessarily. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to separate this string into two pieces. This first piece is going to have length 3, and the second part of this string is going to have length 3k. So the total length is still 3 times k plus 1, but in this case I'm considering this as 3k plus 3. The reason I'm separating the string into these two specific pieces is because we can make claims about the number of b's in the first three characters of this string using the base case and we'll be able to use the inductive hypothesis to show that there's an even number of b's in the rest of the string. So let's write that out. The first three characters of s is a string of size three. By the base case, these first three characters have exactly two b's, which is even. Let's see why that's true. Let's go back to the base case real quick. The base case says that if a string s and l has length three, then s contains an even number of b's. Here we have 
a string of length three, it's the first three characters too, specifically. And so these three characters will be one of these three options here, the blue, the purple, or the green. And in all three of those cases, there are two Bs, which is even. The rest of the string is also in L with size 3K. Now let's go to our inductive hypothesis because our inductive hypothesis makes a claim specifically about strings in L with length 3K. Specifically, that means that that string contains an even number of Bs. So by the inductive hypothesis, the rest of the string has an even number of Bs. Now, if we take two and we add it to an even number, since these are both even numbers, the result will be even. And so this means S has an even number of Bs. And this means that P of K plus one is true. And now that we know that P of K plus one is true, this means that P of K implies that P of K plus one is true, which means that by mathematical induction, the statement P of N is true for all integers n greater than or equal to one. Thanks everyone and I'll see you in the next